coffee and brown sugar cinnamon. So we're going to make them into toast and then we're going to put them in order from which we think is the best to which we think is the worst. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Alright, let's go make some toast. So first we have the French toast bread. This one that has um, a cinnamon swirl in it, and it also has little like drops of syrup throughout of it. All right, so I'm gonna cut each piece into three so we can each have a part. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm like good. It does smell good, doesn't it? All right, there you go. I already did mine. I would give the French toast one a 9 out of 10. Um, it's really good. It tastes just like French toast without having to do all the actual work of French toast. All right, next up we have the brown sugar cinnamon. This one has a cinnamon swirl in it, and it also has little drops of brown sugar throughout of it. That one is like the French toast. Oh, it's thinner than it, Mom. Yeah, it's similar. Well, I yeah, got a big one. Okay. Well, I got a big one. I got a big one, Mom. You did get a big one. Oh, there you go. Let's try it. sugar cinnamon a 7 out of 10 it's good but I liked the French toast one just a little bit more all right next up we have the strawberry bread this one has a swirl of what looks like strawberry jam in it and then it has little drops of strawberries throughout it Oh, you think you're going to like this part? Yeah. Mmm! Good! Three million. Three million? Mm -hmm. I got three million too. Alright, so I would give that one a 9 out of 10. That one is really good. It has a lot of strawberry flavor. Um, I would definitely recommend trying that one. Alright, next up we have the banana bread. This one has a cinnamon swirl, and then it has pieces of banana throughout it. Mmm, banana. Boy, aren't they banana? I know you do. You love banana. Yeah. Dude, they are called banana bread. All right, there we go. Okay, I think I'm going to try to do the video. Let's try it. So I'm not really sure what I want to rate the banana bread. It's good and has a good banana flavor. And like, if you don't feel like making banana bread, it's really good. But I personally would prefer homemade banana bread. So I'm going to say a six for the banana bread. All right, next up is the lemon poppy. This one has more of a yellow color and has poppy seeds throughout it. It also has a very strong lemon smell. All right, let's try this one. Uh, I don't like it. You don't like that one? No. Why is the money in there? You like that? Mm-hmm. So for the lemon bread, I'd probably give that one a three. Um, Not my favorite. Not a fan at all, actually. If you like lemon, then you'd probably enjoy it. But I personally don't really like citrus that much. I don't like that one. All right, so our last one is the berry sunflower. This one has pieces of berries. I'm pretty sure it just has strawberries and blueberries. 
and then it has little pieces of sunflower. Last bite. One. You do? Uh -huh. I'll give that one a 6 out of 10. It's good. It kind of has like a peanut butter and jelly flavor to it. Um, because it has the berries and then like the nutty flavor of the sunflowers. Um, my thing though, I didn't really like the crunch of the sunflowers as I was eating the bread. Alright, so we put them in order from what we think was the best to the worst. In first place, we have French toast. Next is strawberries, banana bread, brown sugar cinnamon, berry sunflower, and then our least favorite was the lemon poppies. All right, so as a bonus to go with our toast video, we're going to mix together all the leftover jams that we have from our countdown to Christmas. a stronger strawberry or like berry flavor but it's really citrusy I thought for this video thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe down below